So I made a video recently talking about why I decided to return effectively my a7S III and pick up an a7C instead. And that's the first video of mine that has gotten that many views. So I was introduced to a whole new world, the comment section. And one thing that was quickly made apparent to me is that people care too much about their gear. Now, this is something I already knew about, but it's just, I don't think it's said enough. This video was about two Sony cameras and suddenly there are comments about Canon. Then there are people who are commenting saying that they hate the a7C and don't understand why in the world somebody would use it. And then there are people who obviously understood the point of the video and I'm super thankful for them. So uh, thank you to you guys. But really the camera community online seems like a very, or it's grown into this extremely toxic uh, community in many ways. If I see a post by Petapixel on Facebook, the comment section is the worst place to look because it's just so, so negative and so much vitriol and hatred. So I'm just gonna chime in with my two cents because I think it's something that as a community we should keep in mind and really strive to be better about because I'm saying all these things, but I've been there before as well. I think it's rooted in not understanding your needs as well as the needs of others and a lack of skill or success or or you're just bored and have nothing to shoot so you're just looking at gear and before we even talk about any of that i think it's just important to keep in mind that it doesn't matter what another person uses for their work or for their personal passions it's just a camera is a camera a lens is a lens but i do see that when you watch youtubers for example i as a freelance videographer had so many gripes about youtubers and the stuff that they would make because the things that they would praise about a camera just didn't resonate with me and made no sense and i felt like i was wasting my money if I listened to them and that's because uh, of the things that they said and that they somehow misled me and sure I guess there are more salesy type of youtubers but I feel like that's a separate discussion because at the end of the day I'm the one being misled which reflects a lack of knowledge and awareness on my part it just shows that I don't understand my needs and I don't understand their needs and I don't understand the relation between those two very different set of standards and it was very illuminating after this last video I made that yeah, buying an a7C over an a7 III did wonders for the views. So if I'm looking at other YouTube camera reviewers or whatnot, obviously they're gonna go for the newer camera or they're gonna go for things that they know will get clicks. Their audience loves that stuff and their audience wants that stuff. So why wouldn't they do it? It's a very sound business decision to make. For the freelance videographer, however, no, an a7C does not make more sense than an a7 III at this current price point. You're pointing the camera at a subject most of the time. You're not gonna be pointing it at yourself. So flipping screen that turns and swivels does not matter that much to you. You're getting the same 8-bit footage, maybe slightly better colors on the a7C. The a7III's IBIS is a little bit better too, so that's gonna benefit you. It still sucks, but like whatever. Point being, the needs of a freelance videographer is vastly different from the needs of a YouTuber, especially a successful camera reviewing YouTuber. That being said, even videographers, we are completely different from traditional filmmakers. Makers. Even within videographers, if you're more into corporate stuff or if you're more into weddings or if you're more into product commercials for social media, completely different. And that's okay. I don't, I really don't understand why that is an issue or why people are so resistant to accepting that. And I personally, I feel like I've delved into each brand, like from Nikon to Canon to Fuji to Panasonic to Olympus. I've used cinema cameras, I've edited footage from Reds, I've worked with the cheapest mirrorless and old their DSLRs for video. And the one consistent thing that I've noticed is that when I'm busy making stuff, when I'm busy creating stuff or busy with client work, I really, really don't care what another person is using. If anything, the only time I'd be curious about what another person's using is if I have a problem with my current setup and I need to remedy that, I need to fix that, then I would begin to explore, okay, is my camera the issue here? Or is it my lens or is something else in my setup? Am I missing something? Do I need something? Which again, to me indicates that people who are so caught up in tearing other people's gear down or having a gripe with what people are praising about a different camera, you you either you're just not busy enough I think to put it bluntly but again I am speaking from personal experience I have been there before I have looked to youtubers for answers about camera gear I've listened to people praise their whatever camera and not understand it and be very perplexed by it and be very frustrated with it because I didn't understand where they're coming from but if I take a step back and think about it sure all those things could be true I can be frustrated I can be annoyed but 
it, so what? What am I accomplishing by trying to tear that person's gear choices down? If it's a friend who just dropped thousands of dollars on a cinema camera that they're not going to know how to utilize or that will not serve their needs, I'll let them know in a helpful fashion, letting them know, hey, maybe you should consider, uh, I don't know, returning that camera or whatever, or just trying to help a person with their gear decisions rather than attack them for it. And if you really break it down, this is applicable to everything else in life, I think. It's just, you know, stop being so invested in other people's choices. Like for me, buying a $6,000 camera does not make sense uh, and it doesn't suit my needs and it's complete overkill. And let's say I have a friend who's just starting out on videography and they drop that, I don't know, $6,000 on a camera. My thought honestly is like, wow, you are doing well for yourself. You can afford that. Here, I'll give you some tips on videography so you can maximize your use with that camera because then they can make better things to put out into the world. And if you think about it that way, it's it's a win-win situation all around. We get to see some cool shit, they get to make some cool shit, and whatever, their wallet is their wallet, they can afford it, cool. That doesn't do anything to me. That doesn't bring my quality of work down. That doesn't bring my financial status down or whatever, I guess relatively sure. But it, it just doesn't matter at the end of the day is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, short little rant video. I just wanted to get this off of my chest. I love every camera that's out on the market to be quite honest with you. The Canon R5 looks absolutely stunning. The R6 dynamic range does not look good and that's fine. I still think it's a great camera and I would personally love to use it. Fuji X-T4 is an amazing, phenomenal camera. A7C is a piece of shit in some ways, but like in other ways, it's the perfect fit for me and allows me to make more stuff which i love as long as you're making cool shit as long as you're helping other people make cool shit what is there to lose anyways thank you if you've made it to the end and listened to my rant i hope that this doesn't lead to more negativity but just reminds people hey go out and shoot today if anything or go and hustle a little bit harder get your next client do what you need to do to keep yourself creatively busy or just just busy because it's a colossal waste of time to try and you know, shit on other brands and cameras when you could be making something that much better and investing in your craft in that time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.